Welcome back to the Alphabet Superset. Today we are working on the letter F. I'm doing a flamingo and frangipani flowers. This painting, I wasn't insanely impressed with my final result. I think I will be coming back to it in the future, but for now, I think it will <laughs> it will join my abandoned art project pile. I think ultimately the biggest problem with approaching this painting was the green underpainting that I have here. I began painting over it while it was still wet, and so the colors became very muddied. Another problem I faced was due to my reference photos. The reference photos I used all had different lighting and angles of the bird. So there was no consistency or even a reference on how I should approach these colors. Most of my other pictures I had decided to do rim lighting and back lighting to create a little bit more drama. I felt like I was overusing that lighting and wanted to try something a little different. Some of the references I was looking at had some beautiful backgrounds, but as I was playing around with the colors, I couldn't quite make it work. Ultimately, as you'll see towards the end of this video, I decided to add more contrast with a darker background, which complemented the pinks that I ended up using. Flamingos seem to be on a scale of this light orange to vibrant pink color. The reference photos were pretty dynamic on these colors. So again, I really struggled with figuring out what colors to use. I ended up playing around with three different reds, just trying to figure out what worked best for this picture. I think that watching this video can be valuable to see how you can work through some of your mistakes and build up layers until you find something that works for the idea in your head. You can specifically see that in the flowers. They have this fun little swirly shape to them, kind of like a spiral. But that shape is very different from the previous flowers I had chosen in this challenge. So figuring out how exactly I would approach those shapes was pretty frustrating. I think I'm pleased with how they ended up. I don't know if one could necessarily identify them. I personally have never seen these flowers in person. So off the top of my head, I wouldn't be able to name it. I am painting on my living room floor. I still haven't reset up my painting corner in my bedroom since the art fair, which was two weeks ago. I still need to grab some of the stuff from the trunk of my car. And I've just not felt like doing that. <laughs> so I had to makeshift my setup, which I don't know if 
the view was better or worse for you guys, feel free to give me feedback down below. It was a little bit more frustrating having to set everything up instead of just popping down and selling like I had been. That's why sitting down to paint took me a lot longer this week. Plus, I wasn't quite sure what to do for the composition for this painting. I don't know if I love what I chose. There were so many different ideas running through my head, some more cheesier than others. This is what I chose. Thank you. 
My baby is starting to be a lot faster with his crawling. He's very mobile and it's getting harder to just leave him as I'm working on other things in the house. He's really wanting to interact with me more or get into things that could potentially be more dangerous. I love seeing him explore and it's really interesting seeing how his behavioral patterns are changing. I'm putting him down for his naps and he's rolling every which way, which means I need to move his crib to a safer height because he's going to be standing up in no time in there. Last weekend, we were able to go to a pumpkin patch. My baby got to go to a petting zoo and he saw a bunch of parakeets in an aviary. He loved watching the birds. And we got to pick out some pumpkins. Bossaholics too. It's really cool being a parent now and getting to do these fun parent things with my kid, even though he's not gonna remember any of this. I'm creating memories for myself and trying to capture photos and just document his growth. It was fun being with family and getting to have some fried dough. <laughs> Yeah, I love autumn. This is legit my favorite time of year. My husband and I have been working through the Harry Potter movies. We are almost done with it. That's been really fun. It's a magical story. I've seen them before, but it's great rewatching them. I've tried making my version of butterbeer. It basically was a butterbeer float because I am obsessed with ice cream and it was delicious. While at the pumpkin patch, my son and I were able to use these really fun swings. There was a seat for the adult to sit in and a little place to put your infant. And he loved swinging. He opened his mouth and stuck out his tongue as if he wanted to taste the wind. And he laughed so much. I, I treasure that so much. My husband and I, when we were kids, we both we're obsessed with the swing set. We didn't know each other when we were kids, but I know we would have been best friends. I, I love swinging. I need to find a swing set like that in the area so that we can go back and keep playing in that way, especially just seeing his joy. I just want to keep reliving that. It's so wonderful. I'm curious, other parents out there, 
When it comes to eight and nine month old kids, what have been some of your favorite activities and memories that you've created with your kids? I really want my son to have an enriching childhood and I want him to learn and experience the best parts of life. Seeing his joy as he experiences new things warms my heart so much.
I know my thumbnail was a little bit clickbaity. I just did not like how this painting ended up. I had abandoned this painting and woke up the next day ready to try to fix it. The muddied colors really bothered me and so did the background colors. Live cabbage. I'm really curious, for those watching, how would you approach this painting differently? What is your feedback to me as you're watching this? I probably will not be making a whole lot of changes to the final piece. However, I will be changing the lighting situation as I think through it a little bit more. Ultimately, I don't see myself coming back to this painting until the end of this challenge. There are so many birds and flowers I need to paint, and I'm excited about some of the combinations I have planned out.
I hope you enjoyed watching this process. I know I personally didn't love the final product and ultimately I don't think it is the final product. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed the process and learned something or I hope you were also able to relax and enjoy yourself. So now that this is over with, it is time to move on to the letter G.